So our next stop will be at uh, New South Wales uh, Rail Museum in Thalmere. So we're going to see a really large collection of old trains uh, at the New South Wales Rail Museum. The museum itself sits on the old main south line between Picton and Mittagong. So the, the line between Melbourne and Sydney used to run along that uh, alignment and at some point they rebuilt that section of the line uh, to make double track each way. So the museum is on the old section and we're going to take a steam train ride on that old section. So it's a bit of interesting history. So 3.15 was the time that we booked and we have now three tickets together. It will be a 40 minutes ride on that heritage train, on a steam train, and that will be a fun experience. Look at this old bridge. I don't know too much about this bridge, but I think it's it could be wooden, maybe. Right. But it's like a one-way, It's a, yeah, like a one-way road bridge, yeah. Right, okay. And possibly made with wood. Yeah, wow. I think so. Wow. <laughs> That's a fantastic thing, Aaron. Oh, it's very old and it's a one way. So yeah. you have to like have to adjust, wait. wait. Yeah. That was pretty cool. There you go. That was fantastic. <laughs> and this part of the New South Wales is beautiful because all these rolling hills and yeah. these houses, very green and these houses, they're almost like Switzerland. Look at this uh, cottage house with nicely decorated fence and all these ornamented plants around the house. Beautiful blue sky and these rolling hills of New South Wales. Pretty spectacular. So this part of the rail networks was part of the old mining industry I guess yeah. in Wollongong and New South Wales in general yeah and look at the rolling hills and this hill drive pretty spectacular and we are nearly there at the New South Wales Rail Museum where we'll be jumping on a steam train how wonderful that will be look at this guys we're at the New South Wales Railway Museum and uh, this is a fantastic place. The real locomotives from historical era and uh, they have been displayed here as, as a part of museum. I have to take a better look after we do the ride. And these engines, they're, they're huge. It's like almost like two-story, three-story building. And it's a spectacular sight here. So we'll look around and I'll record that afterwards. But now we are getting geared up for the steam engine, the steam railway that we're going to take. It will be approximately 40 minutes round trip and that will be a fantastic ride. Where the steam engine and the steam locomotive will take us on a tour. And we need to go to that station. Look at the steam train. This stream rail looks really great. I mean, very well maintained, isn't it? Yeah. Well painted and there are three coaches, I guess. And we have allocated seats. We went to Darjeeling and that's an Himalayan railway station. They have these toy trains. They still run on coal and uh, that was pretty fantastic experience. Look at this mini railway. Look at the sign of the railway crossing. And now we can get to see the whole train together. Spectacular sight, very exciting time. And this is the Thalmere station where from we are going on the steam rail and uh, height above the sea level is 963 meter and that's the Thalmere where this New South Wales Railway Museum is. Look at the carriages and they're really nice. The seats, they're really authentic like you can see only this sort of steam train and carriages in the movies, the old movies. You don't get to see these in these days and uh, obviously these have got uh, leather cover and there is a walkway just beside these uh, cubicles. Uh, how wonderful that is. So now I'm going to see the, the steam engine releasing a lot of steam. Yeah, but they're taking people's pictures inside the cab. Ah, right. 
So there is a queue of people going inside the engine and taking photos. That is fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Look at the steam. It reminds us of the Darjeeling toy train and a very large scale, obviously. And look at this gorgeous looking locomotive. Very well maintained, very nicely decorated, wonderful. And look at the storage of the coal. So we are inside this locomotive and look at the storage of the coal and so they are running this on this, they are burning this and the steam is running the engine and it's a brilliant moment and we are enjoying it. That was a fantastic moment going up the locomotive and having a moment with the engineers and the drivers before we start our extraordinary journey on this heritage train. Look at this guys, this is the Thalmir signal box, this is the heritage side and look at the signal controlling pulleys inside, how big they are. They used to pull these and push these to change lines and direction of the locomotives. What a wonderful side this is. We are going into the coach A. Our seats are 38, 39 and 40. So we are comfortable in our seats now and uh, we are ready to ready for the heritage ride. Yes. <laughs> Looks like a Sherlock Holmes train, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you, you never get to see these leather covered seats anymore. Yeah. Look at the details of the coach and these are the original lights. And that's a storage area. And you have got nice photos in your carriage depicting some history of the railway, I guess, or the valley. Look at the locks. And these yeah. windows, they are pretty spectacular. Look at this corridor, it's just so fantastic. All varnished and all these old doors, sliding doors. Beautiful looking train. And this is a storeroom and look at this corridor from this side. Wonderful. I'd like to check your ticket please. <laughs> it doesn't have one. <laughs> Look at this chain, pull chain for stopping the train. Look at the station master and the controller getting ready to start this journey. It's a fantastic journey, isn't it? It should be very nice. We never done anything like this before. Aaron, have you done anything like this before? Never, yeah. It's and look at this door i mean this is a wooden door and they're going to close this it's like your sitting area door we're going to go on this heritage rail ride for 40 minutes it's a round trip so each way it will be 20 minutes and it will be a fun ride the station master is showing the flag white flag means we are ready to go we just started the journey it started moving Hello, how are we? Everybody good? Yeah. That's the last yeah. thing I want to be in, bro. I was getting ready for you. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to delete that. <laughs> I'm, fine, I'm, just, I'm just really ugly, that's the only thing. Oh, no, you are beautiful. Oh, Thank you, bro. I appreciate <laughs> that. I'll give you 50 bucks later. Just a real quick safety brief. So we have started the journey. Look at those old locomotives. This is the museum part. We'll be watching this. We'll be looking around and record that later on. What a beautiful ride that is. this wooden locomotive and to listen to the sound. Can you see the steam coming out? What a wonderful 
Uncle Johnny this is. Look at this vibration, these doors. I'm going to the front of the train now. Oops, sorry. Please, I can't go any farther because it's all occupied by all these tourists. Everybody is busy taking photos. There is a nice little seat that I can, I can just drag and sit here. What a wonderful journey we're having. I'm going a little bit farther in front. Oh, listen to the sound. I always enjoy this rhythmic sound of a rail journey. And on a steam engine driven by coal, how wonderful that is. And this is a historic ride. It's a very historic ride, a short one. But this sound, the vibration and the burning coal, smell of the burning coal, it is a heritage site and heritage ride that we are having. And it's just a wonderful experience. Listen to this. I think we have just arrived at Buxton and so I think we'll have a stoppage here we'll, for 10 minutes and we'll walk down these coaches and we'll get a chance to see the whole thing once again. We just arrived at Buxton and uh, we came out of the train and that was just wonderful. I could walk from the back to the front and uh, I could listen to the sound, the vibration, the smell of the coal, burning coal and now we can see the whole train once again and that's just a wonderful sight, wonderful ride we had. See so guys, sticking my head out the window, it's getting cold, all this coal dust all over me. Oh, you have yeah. the coal had, dust on you. There was more before. <laughs> yeah, it was and I was, I was actually standing at the front and yeah. I could see the engine, yeah. the horn and the smell of the burning and coal. Up the hill. <laughs> that so sound, yeah. that takes you back 100 years. Yeah, and the train kind of rocks. It's kind yeah, of rocks, thing. very yeah. rhythmic. <laughs> Look at the locomotive and uh, this was pulling us together. What a wonderful sight. I think it's a fantastic initiative that they have restored this old time locomotive and put it into action. It's a touristy thing but imagine that people used to travel on this type of locomotives for such a long time in England, in India, in Australia and that was the fastest mean of transport. And now probably we think yeah, it's not good enough but imagine the history 100 years ago. That was a fantastic engineering and uh, extraordinary human achievement. Now it's time for the return journey and we should go on this fascinating piece of engineering and history and return back to the New South Wales Rail Museum. I think there is a diesel engine in the front and that is going to pull this thing back to where we started. I don't think that uh, has the power to go backward but look at this spectacular sight. Oh, that was a fantastic shot, Urnima. <laughs> I can see you, Aaron. <laughs> What a wonderful experience, yeah. I'll try to put the camera outside the train and uh, I can see the whole train coming at this turning point and yeah, it looks stunning.
look at those engines i think these are engines part of this uh, new south Wales rail museum and this is fascinating this is uh, like a collection of all history of railways wonderful what a sight we're coming back to the station that we started from and all these old locomotives they're part of this museum this was a memorable wonderful train ride with Aaron and Urunima and, and the weather was so sunny and warm but today is just clear blue sky yeah. we're loving it look at these engines and the rivets on those engines all those years ago What a ride that was, just awesome. And uh, we finished this heritage train ride after 45 minutes and that was a fun ride. So from this train ride, we'll go to the New South Wales Railway Museum to see some old locomotives that we were watching. That was just an extraordinary ride. We loved it. Now we're inside this New South Wales Railway Museum and we got to see these extraordinary locomotives are displayed here. Look at these old historic locomotives. 1954 Royal Tour, the first monarch to set foot on Australian soil. Okay, so 1954, after Queen Elizabeth II became Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen of England and Commonwealth, she visited with Duke of Edinburgh in February 1954. And this is the carriage they traveled on. Wow, that's fantastic. Very historic. Wonderful, isn't it? Such a beautiful, well-decorated this is called Palace on Wheels. Look at the interior. Royal carriage. Look at the dining table. This is for the kitchen and serving room. Look at this locomotive steam engine. Huge! Railway walk 1877. And look at these different cars of different era. City rail and this is very old time. 1988, 1994, 1994, and, and this, this is, is the, current, the current one. The current oh, fantastic! This is a really good way of displaying the rail cards in New South Wales. Look at this museum, such a wonderful site. Uh, it's beautifully maintained and preserved, and all these extraordinary machineries on display here. This is a prison van and so we can go inside. The transporting prisoners on this train. Look at this prison cell on board and look at this guy on a ride from one prison to another. So you are trying how comfortable is this? This is still more comfortable than the current train seats. And this is a wooden seat. <laughs> yeah, it's still and, and you look so you are you are actually glowing. I look like a criminal, right? Yeah, with with your this fantastic French cut <laughs> beard, yeah. <laughs> freshly I caught. Look, I look dodgy. Freshly caught from the hot oven. <laughs> <laughs> Can you listen to the sound? Acoustics is just fantastic. Good night. My name's Eddie Clark. What's yours? Mama. Not be nervous, girl. Because I'm scared. I'm missing my children already. Three months. Take it out. The Look at this old post rail. They used to sort all the parcels and letters and while traveling on board. You done good on your first day. 
you'll get used to this paper real fast. And this is probably the postmaster on a dynamic train. Look at this locomotive. This is a Garrett locomotive. Concept was conceived in England by Herbert William Garrett in partnership with Bayer. What a structure! In these days, to transport sheep and different cattle, the last of the flock. It's called the Rocket of the Rails. The C-38 class were faster and more powerful than their predecessors. The passenger locomotives designed and built by the New South Wales Government Railways, they captured people's heart and imagination in the final era of the popular stream rail travel. So here you go, this is last innovation in that era before I think they got all electrification. And this side we have the governor's car, the state governor's personal train. This is pretty special. They used to carry molten metal in this carriage. How wonderful this is. See, we have seen the modern double deckers. We are traveling on it in Sydney. Uh, this is the old double decker one. They used to have double decker train even then. Double decker pioneer. Made in New South Wales. Okay. That was just an extraordinary ride. Hope you liked this video and we loved it. A heart speed to the city streets. We began to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young. It is just begun as she puts her hand in